So I'm going to show you how to make scent swabs today for nose work. Here are some scent swabs I had made up before. Uh, what we need for this project are cotton swabs. We're using the Q-tips. Uh, empty canning jar. Uh, these are four ounce canning jars. You can use any container. You want to make sure that there's no scent in it. Um, so I like these. They're four ounce jelly jars. And it's brand new. Never been opened. Now it's been opened. Um, however, I don't like the lid that it comes with. I like these lids instead. These are um, canning jar reusable lids. You can find them by the canning jars. And that's what we used here. I used my label maker to make a nice little label for it. We used tin snips. And we we're going to use that to cut the swabs. And then I have a nose work kit we had got from Learberg. And in it, it has some cotton swabs um, already done up. So you can see what they're using for the cotton swabs. Um, it has the essential oil vials. It has um, eyedroppers, so I've already used some of this, so that's what has the eyedropper in it. And it has a nice little um, scent tin, which I'm going to show you how to make in another video. So this is what you need to make scent swabs for nose work, these ingredients right here. And I'm going to show you what to do. So you're going to start with removing some of the swabs. Okay. You're going to take your tin snips and you're going to cut the straws in half. And you can get a few of them cut in half. I like to do a dozen swabs cut in half. And then uh, that's going to give you 24 um, scent swabs. And you could do, got good tin snips, you could do a few of them at a time. You could do one of them at a time. Depends on how ambitious you are and how sharp your scissors are. There, we got a whole bunch done. So we got them done. We're going to open up our jelly jar. We're going to take the dropper here and we're going to add in two, three, four, five, six drops of essential oil. And this is the birch. I'm going to spin it, you know, roll it around the bottom here. And then I'm going to add some of the swabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So that's two dozen swabs. You can, you can smell it. Yeah, it does smell like birch. It smells like birch beer if you guys ever had birch beer. And then you're going to seal up the container and label it. Birch. Um, you can use a label maker if you have a label maker. You can use um, masking tape. You can write on it with Sharpie and put some clear or scotch tape on it so you know what it is. Um, you can label here. If it's the only one, you don't have to worry about it. But keep it with your dog training supplies because people are going to be like, why do you have half Q-tips in a jar that smells? So know what it is. Um, I like these to sit for a couple days, maybe a couple weeks and use them. If you want stronger scent swabs, use more essential oil. Um, like if you're just starting out, you want them stronger. If you don't need them as strong, use less essential oil or add in more Q-tips. You know, it's a, it's a guessing game on how much you're going to add um, and how many swabs you're going to have. Um, in the beginning, I like it to be a little stronger. So if I pull it out and the swabs aren't as strong, I will use maybe two or three or four swabs in each scent tin. If they're really strong, I'll only use one. So there's variables there. But that is how you make scent swabs for nose work. Have fun!